Hello, my beautiful collective. We're going to pull a message. Message from your person, what they need to say, what they need to let you know right now. Um, we're also going to see where your connection is going. And if you have had no contact, we'll go ahead and pull a card at the end on if you're going to receive contact from this person. Okay, we're also pull your angel number at the end. Okay, so what messages want to come out of spirit? Give me a message for this person for their highest good. What do they need to know about their person? What does the person want to say to them? Showing out. I'm acting like I don't care about what's happening between us, but I do. I just want to appear unbothered. Okay. For some of you, I feel like this person that you're dealing with is like not letting on that things are bothering them more than they are. You know, they may appear that, you know, they're okay with certain situations, right? But I feel like there's going to be a need to express themselves later, right? Because I feel like they're holding on to a lot of energy. Okay, it could be that you have just had some kind of argument. You have just maybe had some kind of breakup, um, some kind of separation of some kind with this person. Or maybe you're just not talking. Okay, attached to my ex. I'm attached to my ex emotionally, physically, or spiritually. I need time and space to break this, this connection. So this very well will have been a third party situation to where they haven't fully let go of an ex energy, you know, and if this is flipped, you know, flip it where you need to. If this is you holding on to your ex, take the messages how they're received, you know. Um, but I feel like there's some kind of ex energy who's kind of interfering with your relationship with this person. Okay. We have my fantasy. You're my fantasy. I have pictures and videos saved of you. I use them for inspiration. I want you. So I feel like this person. Yeah, there's actually some self-gratification here. <laughs> Take that how it resonates, right? Um, but I feel like they have videos of you. They have pictures of you that they kind of take advantage of, should I say, with their fantasies. So, yeah, this is getting kind of intense here. You got me blushing behind the camera. Okay, so we have no one compares. No matter how many people I've met and experiences I have, there's no one who compares to you. Okay, so I feel like this person feels very deeply for you. They're definitely very attracted. They're very um, sexually attracted to you, of course, you know. Um, but I feel like they know that you're a very unique person, that you're very nurturing and loving and caring. You're very kind, you know. And I feel like, you know, even though there may be some kind of attachment to their ex, I feel like it may be due to children or due to a past connection that maybe they're having trouble letting go of. Um, but for some of you, some of you that's going to resonate and some of you is going to make absolutely no sense. So take it how it resonates. Okay. Yeah. Have my kids. I want to have a family with you. I know that you'd be an amazing parent and I dream of the day I can experience raising a family together. So either you and this person have kids together or you're thinking about having kids together. But this lets me know that this person is actually thinking towards the long term. They're seeing you in their future. They're seeing you as part of that equation, right? They're seeing that, you know, you are someone very special that they want to spend all of their time with. No one compares to you, my beautiful collective, you know? When, when, when someone takes out your pictures or videos to, you know, 
sexually gratify themselves that lets you know right there you know they could have chose any picture any porn to you know fulfill that need but obviously this person is is looking to you fantasizing about you about your interactions thinking back you know so it, i mean that's very <laughs> That's very inspirational. Yeah. I'm impressed. Give me more messages, Spirit. Give me more messages for the collective about the person. What does the person need to say? What are their hidden feelings? What can they not express? Okay. You feel like home. Being with you reminds me of simpler times. You bring me so much happiness and peace. So yeah, this person feels like they're at home when they're with you. You know, they feel like home is where you are. You know, so that's beautiful. That's beautiful energy. You know, if they have made you their home, right? You make them feel special gratified and you know fully protected and comfortable so they find that home feeling within your heart space you know and I feel like you're very open to that invitation and maybe they kind of feel like they can I'm, I'm getting that they feel like they may need to come and go for certain situations at the moment but I feel like you are someone that they can come home to, right? Maybe they have to leave for work or for some kind of job that they have. They may need to leave town or to travel for certain reasons. But I feel like they view you as home. Okay. Okay, so we have a let's see, we have I'm leaving. Yeah, I feel like this person needs to leave for home. Le needs to leave for some reason, but they feel like they're coming back to home. I'm ready to leave a situation or mindset that has not served me and hindered my growth. You know, so I feel like this person is letting you know that they're leaving some sort of situation. They're leaving a situation that hasn't made them feel as comfortable as you have. So there's something that they're letting go of. It could be this attachment to the X energy, um, but it's definitely some kind of situation that they're leaving because you are providing that comfort, that nurturing, that loving kindness that they've been searching for, right? We also have gaslighting you. I've been lying to and gaslighting you. And you weren't crazy. You were right. I just wanted, I just wasn't strong enough to admit it. So I feel like when you and this person argues, they may gaslight you. They make you feel, they may try to make you feel like you're the one that is starting it you're the reason for the argument or you're the reason why they have to leave i feel like when this person needs to go someplace that they kind of start an argument they kind of get something going that starts something and then tries to put the blame on you like you're the reason for this you're the reason why i have to go okay so someone very well could be gaslighting you and making you feel like you're the one to blame in the situation because they don't want they don't want you to think that you know they're they're the ones to blame they they want to feel blameless in the situation right so they're putting all the blame on you like you're the one doing something wrong you know that's all about gaslighting they're trying to kind of hinder your perception of the situation that's what i'm feeling they're trying to put back on that mask. OK, 
okay? Where you're trying to get them to let down their guard, to take off that mask. And I feel like they're kind of... Mm, I feel like they're more comfortable within their mask. That's what I'm feeling. Okay, so we have jealousy. I'm very jealous. I can barely stand it. So there could be a lot of jealousy with this person. There could be a lot of obsession with this person. I feel like they think about you all the time. Um, excuse me. I, I think I'm obsessed with you. I think about you all the time. Stalk your socials and hope you hope to run into you. Um, when I'm out. So yeah, I definitely feel like this person has a little bit of an obsession. There's a lot of jealousy here. They really don't want to see you with anyone else. They don't want to see you spending time with anyone else. You know, they want to keep that door open because you feel like home to them, right? You feel like home and they want, they don't want to lose that. They don't want to lose how they feel about that situation. Okay. So we have attention of others. I feel like this person is very addicted to the attention that other people provide to them. They, their ego may be very high when it comes to the situation. They really love the, the feeling of being wanted and needed. And I'm, I'm really getting that they really work on their appearance so that they get more attention. Okay. Um, they, they really don't feel whole without it. They really don't. They, they, kind of yearn for the attention and I feel like that's the reason why there's so much jealousy going on here because the way that they carry themselves is the way that they expect you to carry yourself so they're like they're like mirroring the energy okay so I'm doing this so I know that my person is doing this so I'm gonna be very jealous because I know that they're getting attention when I'm not looking you know, I know other people are giving them attention because I'm getting attention, you know, so I feel like they're, they're just like gaslighting that situation to try to reflect everything back onto you. They're like reflecting. So that's the reason why there's so much jealousy going on with this person. Because they don't want to lose this good thing, you know. Um, they see you as someone who can last the long term. Who's someone who can make them feel totally at home and secure. So they risk the chance of losing that if someone else gains more attention than they do. Right? So what other messages do we have? We'll pull one more card. I'm sorry. Yeah. This person sees how much th that they have hurt you. How they don't treat you the way that you deserve to be treated. And this person is very sorry. They don't want things to end with you. That's the reason why they kind of do the things that they do. You know, you're, you're a person that is that they've kind of dreamed about. You know, you're their fantasy. No one else compares to you. You know, they see themselves starting this family with you, feeling right at home, you know, and then they go around and do something stupid or um, show some kind of obsession, have all these jealous feelings towards you and it, it may put you in some sort of confusion. But this person really doesn't want to feel the way that they feel. So they're covering that up with a mask. You know, they're hiding behind their feelings because they don't want to show you exactly how much they care or exactly how much they feel about you. Because those feelings go very deep. Right? That's what I'm getting. This Their, their feelings go very deep. So this person wants to let you know that they're very sorry for the way that they treated you. Even if they don't speak the words, their emotions or their um, body language is telling you, man, I was wrong. I was wrong. I don't know how to fix this, you know, and I feel like they've 
they've covered themselves up so much to where they may not know where to start the conversation at. Because I'm sorry is such a hard word to say, right? It's like, can I say anything else but that? I don't want to say that. That makes me look too vulnerable, you know? That makes me look too soft, like I'm putting more intent, uh, attention into this than I really want to, you know? So I feel like this person is, is trying very hard to cover up their emotions. You know, they don't want you to know just how obsessed with you they are. They, they may not want to know how totally drawn to you they are. You know, I feel like your, your connection with this person is very magnetic. You're like drawn to this person. But in actuality, this person is drawn to you. You are the one with the magnetic connection. My beautiful collective, you are the one that they are being drawn to because of your, your purity, your, your sense, your spirituality, your intuition, your kindness, your good heart. They're being drawn to you and your higher vibration. And see, they don't understand that connection. They, they may think it's all about their sex appeal, their ego, you know, you're drawn to them. You're attracted to them. No, in actuality, they're drawn to you, right? Because they're obsessed. They're jealous. They don't want to lose this interaction. You know, they're very, they're very fearful of losing you. So that's very interesting. That is very interesting, my beautiful collective. So let's get some more messages. Let's get some more messages from my beautiful collective. Yeah, what did I say? Taking off the mask. Yeah, they're trying very hard not to take off the mask because they're keeping that mask on for protection, right? They don't want you to know everything that you need to know about the situation. They want to keep you in the shadows for a bit because that mask make, makes them feel secure. It makes their ego rise, right? It makes them feel like they have the upper upper hand. Okay, you have the ability to tame the beast in me. So I feel like you keep this person level. You keep this person calm. You bring this tranquility to this person, right? You bring this level head where sometimes they may not have one, okay? I want you to be mine and mine forever you know they see you as being this safe person who they want to come home to you know and they see that in you they they know that they don't want to lose a good thing and they know my beautiful collective that you are the good thing you know i feel safer hiding and watching you from a distance you know, that's why I feel like this person may be watching you on your social media, watching your Instagram, watching your TikTok. You know, they they're like trying to keep up with what you're doing. But I feel like their jealousy and their obsession. Well, actually, their obsession is fueling their jealousy because they see that you're moving on with life. They see that you're still being the beautiful person that you are. And they're like, how are they feeling like that if I'm not with them, right? And it could be that you're with this person, but you're not with them 24-7, right? So they want to know what you're doing in between those times that you're not together, 
you know, or if there's some distance or no contact, or if there's a separation with this person, they feel like they have the need to watch you, to keep an eye on you from a distance. You know, I kind of feel like this person is like watching you from like a side eye, you know, trying to keep, keep eyes on you. You know, we have, I'm in love with you. Definitely. They're definitely in love with you. They are, even if they don't want to admit it, even if they don't say the words to you, this person is magnetically drawn to your connection. They're medically, magnetically drawn to your higher vibration. And they feel the need to have that connection. And they, they, they may not want to say that this is love, but this is definitely love for them. Even if they can't admit it. You know, they're definitely drawn to you in this capacity. Okay? And I feel like there's... There's some need of searching for some kind of answers with this person. There's something that they want to know. And there's someone who will be coming clean. You know? Um, they're going to let you know about a situation maybe that you're not aware of. Maybe that you didn't have any idea about. Now, I'm not saying that this is cheating or lying or stealing or anything like that. It could be. But um, I'm just saying that this person is searching for answers and they want to tell you about what they are finding out. You know, they want to come clean about the situation. We do have praying for forgiveness. Okay? So it could be you that will be forgiving this person or it could be um, this person who needs to forgive you. But someone in this interaction is praying for forgiveness, whether it's you or someone else. Right? There's someone who really is yearning for um, someone to say I'm sorry, you know, and I feel like we saw that I'm sorry card. Maybe they're praying for forgiveness from you for hurting you the way that they did, you know. I feel like everyone wants you and you will hurt me, you know. I, I feel like, you know, if this is this person's ego, I feel like it's because this person's ego is so high. Because they get so much attention. Because I feel like they really work on their self. They really work on their appearance. They really like to look good in a situation. I see something um, in my mind's eye. Like dressed to the nines. You know. You know. Wearing this. You know. Cool gear. And. You know. Having everything laid out. Right. So I feel like. They feel like everyone wants you and that you're going to break their heart. Okay? Like you're going to hurt them in some capacity. So I feel like they try to gaslight you um, before you do them. You know? It's like a defense mechanism. Okay? I know I hurt you. We have becoming clear. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm sorry I blamed you. Yeah, that's actually come out twice, you know. I'm sorry I blamed you. At the bottom we have, I'm trying to understand the purpose of our connection. The purpose of your connection is they're being magnetically drawn to you at your higher vibration. Because you at... You, my beautiful collective, you're actually running on this higher vibration. And people are just drawn to you magnetically, you know. So, how can I say this? Sometimes you're going to get people who are not worthy of your attention, who are mag magnetically drawn to you. Just because you're flying at that higher vibration, you get so many... Um, it's like a magnet, right? Sometimes when you put two magnets together, sometimes they attract each other. Now, if you flip the magnet around, you know, they're kind of repelling each other, you know? So, and I feel like your magnetism, my beautiful collective, is like drawing people in, right? 
So if you chose to let go of this connection, you got a gnat right there. Oh, go away. Yeah, if you chose to let go of this connection, someone else is going to be magnetically drawn to you very quickly because they see how nurturing, how kind, how good hearted you are. You know, but I feel like as a collective, my beautiful ones, I need to let you know that not everyone that you're magnetically drawn to is going to be good for your soul. Okay, so you have to find out more information. Listen to your intuition. Listen to your spirit. When it tells you that someone is not good for your soul, it's meant, you know. Spirit means it. This person is not good for you, okay? And I'm not saying that this person isn't good for you. I'm just saying for you to be aware that not all people that you are drawn to, not all people that are drawn to you are going to be good for your soul. So take what nurtures you, my beautiful collective, and use that. You know, use your spirit guides, use your intuition to guide you through your situations because they're not going to tell you anything wrong. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and leave this reading here. We are going to go ahead and get your angel number and see what messages the beautiful angels want to let you know. Okay, we have one, two, three, four, persistence. Keep going. You have completed a task that is an in that is in alignment with your soul's journey. The divine is letting you know that it sees you and all of your persistence is paying off. You are being acknowledged. Okay, your affirmation. I take steps to stay in alignment with my soul's journey and I reap the rewards of my persistence. Okay, so stay persistent in your situation. Stay persistent with your soul's journey because spirit is letting you know that you're on the right path. You're in your alignment. That's the reason why so many people are being drawn to you, right? That's this magnetism and your goodness. People see your heart. Okay, so my beautiful collective, unto your next reading, uh, many blessings to you, love and light.